Hello students, we have many applications of monotonicity of function. We can find range of function, we can analyze the roots of the equation, we can prove some inequalities. Now here we have an application in finding the limit of the function. We have this limit, limit extends to 0 plus of 3x upon 2 sin x plus 10x. We have to find greatest integer less than or equal to this limit. Your square brackets represent greatest integer function. Now this limit is simple. The limit we first check the form. Okay, when x tends to zero plus, this expression takes the form zero upon zero. This is indeterminate form. So what we do? We divide numerator and denominator by x. So we have limit x tends to zero plus of three upon two sine x over x plus 10x over x. Limit extends to 0 plus sin x upon x is 1. Also limit extends to 0 plus 10x upon x is 1. Okay. So we have limiting value 3 upon 2 plus 1. This is equal to 1. Now we know that this value is not exactly 1. This value may be slightly more than 1 or slightly less than 1. This value may be 1 plus or 1 minus. Is this a value? Okay. Either this is a 1 plus or 1 minus. If this value is 1 plus, this will be 1. And if this value is 1 minus, this value will be 0. So here we have very sensitive value. Now, how do we check that this limit 1 plus or 1 minus? है? How to check this limiting value is slightly more than 1 or slightly less than 1? It is difficult to decide. The reason is uh, limit x tends to 0 plus sin x over x is 1, but this value is slightly uh, less than 1. Okay? And limit extends to 0 plus 10x upon x is 1, but this value is slightly more than 1. This value is 1 minus and this value is 1 plus. So denominator is either 3 plus or 3 minus. So this value will be either 1 plus or 1 minus. Kya hoga? Kaise decide karenge? Now what we do, we consider function f of x is equal to 2 sin x plus 10x minus 3x. Actually, we want to check whether this is greater than 0 or less than 0. For that, we analyze the function using a differentiation. Differentiate this function, we have f prime x is equal to 2 cos x plus second square x minus 3 second square x is 1 upon cos square x. We can simplify to this one. Uh, 2 cos x plus 1 multiplied by cos x minus 1 whole square upon cos square x. Okay. Now, if we consider one small interval, say uh, 0 to pi by 2, we find that uh, derivative of function is greater than 0. Okay. So, function fx is increasing in this interval. For x greater than 0, we have f of x greater than f of 0. f of 0 is 0. So, we find f of x greater than 0. That means, uh, 2 sin x plus 10x is greater than 3x. Now, 2 sin x plus 10x is positive. Also, 3x is positive. So, we can divide both sides by uh, 2 sin x plus 10x without altering the sign of inequality. And we find that 3x over 2 sin x plus 10x less than 1. Okay. So, uh, this limiting value will be 1 minus because this ratio is less than 1. The limiting value is uh, 1. Hoga. But ye one se thoda kam hoga. So this value will be 0. The greatest integer less than or equal to this limiting value is 0, not 1. So dekho yahan pe hume monotonicity help kar raha hai. Uh, ye check karne ke liye ki ye limiting value 1 plus hai ya 1 minus hai. 
let's take one more question okay now let's find this value we have limit x tends to 0 plus of sin x multiplied by tan x over x square we have to find the greatest integer less than or equal to this limit now this limit is simple we have uh, limit x tends to 0 plus of sin x upon x multiplied by limit x tends to 0 plus of tan x upon x this value is 1 this value is 1 so product is 1 okay but the problem is this value is 1 minus and this value is 1 plus so product may be 1 plus or 1 minus in dono mein se kuch bhi ho sakta hai okay now how to check whether this value is uh, uh, this limiting value is more than 1 or less than 1 for that we need to check whether sin x multiply by tan x is greater than x square or less than x square so what we do we consider function fx which is sin x multiply by tan x minus x square and we check the nature of this function in some small interval uh, say 0 to pi by 2 okay for that we differentiate the function we find uh, f prime x is equal to cos x multiply by tan x plus sin x multiply by second square x minus 2x now we try to figure out whether this is positive or negative to check the nature of the function it seems difficult so what we do we differentiate this again now cos x multiply by tan x is sin x okay so double derivative of fx is cos x plus cos x second square x uh, plus sin x multiply by derivative of second square x which is 2 second square x multiply by 10x this minus 2 okay let's simplify we have here cos x plus uh, this product is uh, second x minus 2 okay plus 2 sin x multiplied by tan x multiplied by second square x okay now for x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 uh, uh, this is positive okay all sin x tan x and second square x are positive and uh, uh, this value is always positive uh, because uh, uh, this is root cos x minus root second x whole square. Take it up. I'm completing square method ka concept use kar rahe hai. Okay. So, what we find double derivative is greater than 0 uh, in this interval. So, we can say that function f prime x increases in the interval 0 to pi by 2 so for this interval we have uh, derivative of uh, fx greater than derivative of uh, fx at x is equal to 0 so uh, we get uh, this value greater than 0 because this value is 0 ab yahan pe 0 rakho aapko uh, function ka derivative 0 pe 0 milega okay now f prime x is positive in this interval that means the function fx increases in this interval so for x greater than 0 we have f of x greater than f of 0 now f of 0 is 0 so we find this is greater than 0 so we have sin x tan x greater than uh, x square so sin x tan x upon x square is greater than 1 so for 1 plus this value will be 1 not 0 so we have here one very nice application of monotonicity in finding such values.